started, this one's all about social media, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so, you know, that's one of our favorite um, subjects that we always talk about. We always talk about it, but let's see what you guys uh, liked about this chapter. I'm going to go first, first, Blanca? Yeah. Okay. So, I guess we'll just, well, I don't know, I like the whole chapter because it just talks about, like, the different ways that we could use social media. Mm -hmm. So, it, like, breaks it down in, like, points, like, you know, sometimes um, you have to prioritize, like, you know, how you do certain things and how you go about it so you get noticed. Mm -hmm. And with the territory, like, he explains, like, there's negative things that come with it or, like, negative people, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, then you also get, like, bad reviews, for example, and he explains how to, you know, just go about that to be productive and find a way to always make it a positive thing for getting a bad review. Like, mm -hmm. you could, like, get another sale, for example. So I just like the whole chapter because it's just, like, a different perspective. Mm -hmm. We could all post stuff on social media. But sometimes we're not really using it the right way. Okay. Anything in particular you think you might start doing differently now after reading this chapter? Maybe post more. <laughs> yeah, okay. You do post well, some. It's like a lot of work. I feel mm -hmm. bad for Marisol because it's a lot of work, you know? Uh huh. Yeah. But there was results. There's results, right? You, you've gotten results yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still get results from social you, media. Oh, really? Okay. I don't know what I do, yeah. Yeah, that's really important, right? So yeah, I think it's it is a little bit of work, but you know that's what a work is. It's just <laughs> everything we do is there's more work to be done. So um, it is a good platform where if you want to be be more active, then you could do it. You know, there's certain situations where you're limited on how much you could work, but social media, if you really want to work, you could just work as much as you really want. But yeah, um, getting the bad reviews, I think that's a good one too because I think sometimes people will not post as much because they're kind of afraid of that. There's a little bit of fear involved because, oh, someone could like leave a bad comment and that could ruin my day. But this chapter does a good job of already making that into your expectation. Like, hey, if I'm going to post a lot, then eventually I'm going to get some negative comments. But if you already go into social media already knowing that and already like expecting that, then it's not going to be like a surprise or it's not going to like be that hurtful when that happens. So. Um, it comes with the territory, so I, I'm glad that this book kind of explains that. But yeah, more activity, the better, right? So yeah, Blanca, I think you, you do, you've done a really good job of just getting people you know insured with us. Probably one of the best at that. So I think uh, social media is, is a great way to do that. So yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, I know <laughs> everybody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> everybody knows you. So yeah, uh, and then I think one of the things that this book talks about is like get, you know, not only do people may know you, and they know what you do, but sometimes people just forget about you. And that's what you don't want to prevent, and that's by being active, that's how it helps. All right, great. Thank you, Blanca. What do you have for us, Jess? I like um, page 206. Okay. Um, it says, the, these names today are like the newspaper ads of early newspaper of the first billboard that shows up alongside highways and city streets years ago. Social media, except for or except for the time of, time it takes, is a free way for you to make yourself known. The key is you have to know how to use it. It how to use it rather than be use it use by it. Social media, for the most part, is like walking into a bar or party. So I like that because it's true. Uh, back now, you don't see like before. It was like <coughs> newspapers or like the uh, those big old signs on the freeway and stuff. Now it's not really like people don't really look at that anymore. Or we don't even have it sometimes. Mm -hmm. So now it's mostly like Instagram, Snapchat, or you know Facebook or mm -hmm. all those things that are being used and they're free. Mm -hmm. And the ones that you had to use. Before, it was only people that actually had money or were successful to be able to afford those. Mm -hmm. And now everybody has a chance to be able to be known mm -hmm. and, you know, for free. Yeah. It's actually even better. Yeah. Everybody has the opportunity. You mentioned a lot of good things right there. Um, so there's pros and cons. The, pro, the good thing is that anybody could do it, right? Mm -hmm. The bad thing is that now that everybody could do it, then the quality makes even more of a difference. So before, it was really hard to make a video and make a commercial. Like, we could do that now. Like, 10 years ago, like, it would cost tens of thousands of dollars to do that. Like, you know, the technology we have that Joe and uh, Marisol uh, helps us make videos. But the bad thing is that so now everybody could do it, and more people are doing it. Now the competition is about who's, who, does it who does it better. The quality becomes a challenge. 
And then also, who could adjust better too? Because um, newspaper ads and TV, like even TV ads, like everybody just watches like Netflix and like just records a show and just skips over the commercials, right? Sure. But what is everybody on? Social media. Social yeah. media. I'm always on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the only I one. Like, Rest your free. <laughs> well, between calls, move? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, but I can't, you know. Um, hey, but sometimes we need to be on there, you know? Yeah. And, and part of the reason I can't be like, hey, you guys can be on there while I work because it's like, shoot, I'm on there. <laughs> I see Dan like it. Yeah, it's posted. I'm like, like, like we're both at work. <laughs> but uh, it's just, it's just, it's just a generation. We just have to adapt, and we just, if we're just not adapting, then. But the the crazy thing about what I learned is that, so before it was radio, so radio was hot, right? And then it went to TV. And now it's going to social media. But between those transitions, people have a hard time adjusting. They show, I was like looking up this like old TV commercial, like the first ever TV commercial. It was just a logo and it was just audio. Because it was like, this, people were so used to just the, the radio, it was just someone talking. But then the screen wasn't even moving. You know, so it's like crazy how now it's like, okay, now it's social media. And social media is a little different. You got to grab their attention a little bit faster because. Like a TV commercial, you're kind of like, okay, I have to wait. You know, social media is like, you, you could just scroll right, right through it. So the, atten grabbing that attention is a little different too. So how you make these, on these, how you make the content on these platforms is different too. So there's a lot to learn, um, but basically, um, Jazz, I think this line, this paragraph you read about is all about adapting mm -hmm. and how that's so important. Okay, uh, uh, okay yeah, let's go to Ali. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I like the first page of the first, um, I think, the verses 21. Um, mm -hmm. Towards the end, it says, If people don't know who you are, they cannot do business with you. If they know you but aren't thinking about you, they won't do business with you. You have to be known, thought about, considered, and hopefully be the first or dominating choice in your client's mind in order to sell anything to anyone. So I like that part. Just it, just because it com um, it comes back to what you always say, um, like when they see you or like they think about insurance, like the mm -hmm. first thing that they want to think is like, oh, you know, like all of this insurance, mm -hmm. like things like that. So you want to be known so they think about you when they think about like insurance. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. And then what what happens if they if you don't know if they don't nobody knows you? Then then you, you won't get a call or you know yeah. Yeah, so the opposite is true, right? Yeah. It's just like you just absolutely have no chance. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I think um, because of, I don't know what it could be, but I think it could be because of fear. You know, oh, I don't want people to like put bad things about me mm -hmm. or insecurities or bad comments. But when you don't post as much, and there's actually people that are going the other way where they don't want to be discovered at all. Like they're very private. And that's like a personality thing, that's okay. But for business, if you're private, and if you're just like, I don't want, I don't want to post anything, I just don't want to like exist, and then it's like, well, how can you sell? Mm -hmm. You know, so one of the biggest problems with businesses, any business really, is obscurity. Like you can have the best hamburger in the whole world, but if nobody knows if you exist, no one's going to go there, no right? Okay. But you can have a crappy burger, but if everybody knows you, then you're still, you're still a big time company. Exactly. <laughs> it's good for her. I don't like them. I, like I love the cheese fries. Sometimes they're cool, but then have mm -hmm. buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's all about being known. Okay, so uh, I know sometimes everybody has a different level, and even I do, you know, of comfort level of you know putting yourself out there. But we try to tend to get into a little bit more of like, hey, let's put ourselves out there a little bit more slowly but surely, and then um, I think that will help. Have you guys ha have you had any? Situations where you, social media has helped you, Alec? Um, no, not, not as well. Not yet. Okay, that's okay. Do you would you feel like you're being as active as you can, or do you think you'd be more active? I think you'd be more active. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. So maybe this chapter could help. You know, maybe uh, look into that. Okay, because especially when you're new, 
uh, your natural market, people who know you, know you are going to be the ones that you usually tend to get your, um, you know, easier to sell to. So, uh, yeah, give that a try. Okay, great. All right, Martha, what you got? Mine's pretty much the same as our Ali. Okay. Her page. And it says, um, social media is a way for you to connect, prospect, and make yourself known to those who may have an interest in what you represent. So, well, it's pretty much the same. It's, mm -hmm. um, depends on what you want to show the world. It's what they want to see from you. Mm -hmm. um, and it's good because from that, you can get leads. Mm -hmm. It's a way, a very free way of um, prospect mm -hmm. and not get known. And like you said, if they don't know you, how do you expect to, you know, mm -hmm. be known? Yeah, I think you said a really important thing. Um, what do you What do you think the audience wants to see? Well, they want to see that we are a company, like um, um, how to say, like um. Because people usually ask, like, are mm -hmm. you real? Are you guys real? Mm -hmm. It's not a span, so they want to see that we're not a span, that we're mm -hmm. actually farmers, mm -hmm. and that we're here for them to take care of them and mm -hmm. give them the best price and the best customer service. So that's what we want to show them, that we have the best customer mm -hmm. service, that we are a, a solid company, mm -hmm. and that we're here for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so true because I think sometimes when people don't want to buy is because they don't know you. Yeah. You know, it's just people are just skeptical about if someone called you and then they're like, hey, you want to buy insurance? You're going to be like, who the heck are you, right? Mm -hmm. So what social media does is like we don't have to go out and door knock like the old, old days or like pass out flyers or be on TV. They could literally just see us in our office working mm -hmm. and they get to feel like they know us. And that's just, A, we're not ripping them off. We're credible. You know, we have an office, we, we, we're real people. That helps our closing ratio a lot because, hey, like, we're not, like you said, we're not, we're not fake. Yeah. <laughs> so being transparent is in a way that really helps our business and makes people feel a lot more trustworthy when they know that you're real. Okay. Yeah, I think it's hard when it uh, makes itself on, um, over the phone because, mm -hmm. you know, people is such a prey that they can read around. Your thought before? Yeah. So they just want to know that we're real. Yeah. Yep. Great. All right. Uh, what do you guys uh, have for us over there, Marisol? Mine's on page uh, 207. It's mm -hmm. like the second paragraph. Okay. Or, yeah, the second one down where it says, no matter, no matter who you are or what your business is, when you start getting attention and creating any success at all, it is only because you are real. It's only a matter of time before someone will post something negative about you online. This is an impossible avoidance. And then I like the other, the second part. Um, it says, with the influence of social media, those who are critical of you, maybe, maybe even those who are envious, are envious of you, and those who compete with your product or your company can easily show up online to bash you. Um, this goes back to like you saying, like, being on social media, you have to um, go into it in, with that expectation. Mm -hmm. That people are going to hate on you, people are going to really not like what you post sometimes. And I, I see that a lot with, like, the farmers, too. Mm -hmm, the comments, yeah. Like, yeah, like, some mm -hmm. people don't like what we post or whatever it might be, but I think it's important for us to remember that mm -hmm. and go into it with that mindset. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sometimes that's a good idea. Yeah. You know, I think sometimes um, people will see those comments and be like, oh, haters. You know, they're just hating. But sometimes they kind of have valid points. Yeah. And you can learn from them, too. Like, oh, people like this. People don't like this. Or people, you know, so you can actually learn a lot. Uh, from, from, you know, or they could even, like, help you, uh, help us. So it's a bit balanced of, like, not, you know, taking it too serious where you're like, oh, my God, this sucks, and then get all hurt. Oh, yeah. um, but also um, another side of it is, like, hey, maybe we could learn something from what they're saying. It might actually have some you know, truth to it. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay, great. All right, what about you, Joe? What do you like about this chapter? Uh, mine is on page 206. Okay. Uh, you may mention business at a party or to the person in, at the bar or in the bar, but you're probably more likely to talk about social media things rather than street business. Social, social things. Social, mm -hmm. so social things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so pretty much well that social things, social media. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this meme yet? Or have you checked this person person out for whatever sport or whatever? Mm -hmm. It's all gonna lead back to social media. People sharing their phones. Mm -hmm. So that's when. 
connect with someone, it'll let me follow you, basically mm-hmm. what you do, and then they'll contact you if you need business with anything like that. Right. So yeah, it helps. Yeah, no, I really like that you picked this line here because it's going to bring us to another important point that you're just talking about. So to me, what this line also is saying that, you know, when, you com- when it comes to social media, you don't want to get straight to business. You know, so if you guys are posting, then you don't want to be like, hey, get a quote. Yeah. You know, because it's just like too yeah. salesy. It's like, I already have insurance, you know. So what are some other things that people like? Funny, thank you. Like yeah. Being relatable. Being relatable. Like okay. Everyday things. Hmm? Like everyday, everyday things. Everyday things, yep. <clears throat> everyday things. So, like, you know, like Joe said, like, you know, you're going to meet somebody at the bar, you're not going to be like, hey, who's your insurance with? <laughs> 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 right? Hey, you're going to be like, hey, how are you doing? You know, like, you know, where are you from? You know, like, just what like, do you do for work? what do you do for work? Exactly. That's always a question. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question, you know. And people like talking about themselves. So social media is a little different, but uh, I think the important thing is to always keep in mind what they want to see. Okay, so people want to be entertained. People like feel good stuff, so family stuff really works well, really, too. Or um, just like, um, yeah, but funny is, is, is probably the best one to me. So being funny is a challenge, it's a skill, too. But finding ways to be funny uh, on social media is a great way to bring awareness because now you're actually bringing value to them. If you're just saying, hey, just like follow me, or buy from me, they're just, you're just not, you're just taking, you know? So I think the better uh, way to look at it is to give them something actually interesting and then, um, and then being consistent. And then when they think of insurance, they'll think of you. So rather than like, get a quote, get a quote, get a quote, then you might start losing followers and friends. <laughs> yeah. Right? All right, cool. Any, anything else you guys want to add? Any any um, thing from Marisol or Joe that you guys have learned the last you know few months doing this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bobby's with Carla. She's not allowed anymore. <laughs> she is, but she needs to be kind and nice. And not so bad. she still do Uber Eats. Mm-hmm. Number bad word. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, because we switched her, huh? She came back as Karina. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh so, okay. So yeah. Carla, she don't yeah. do um, she needs to be Uber nice. Eats. Anymore? Over Uber Eats? Uber Eats? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, she was. Yeah, no, no. She got hired back. But yeah, um, that's, 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 well, might as well break it to everybody, okay? Um, we've actually um, had a call from corporate that uh, Car- Carla was um, used to under control. <laughs> but that's like Carla's wild. Huh? That's like someone had to like rent you out? Someone did. Uh, that's what they said. Another agent. Uh, pointed it out to um, territory, corporate people. What? Another agent <coughs> said, hey, you got, you got to ch- this isn't good for farmers because, you know, of the content. Some of it was controversial, and when I got that call, I was like, I totally understand because I didn't want to, like, you know, I, I, I kind of, like, was thinking in my head, like, ooh, this, this is kind of, like, you know, borderline, you know, stuff. So it's a good lesson learned. So we're going to have to, we're definitely going to adjust. But, um, you know, Car- Carla's not going to be cussing anymore. <laughs> but she'll, she'll be on there. She's not going to be doing any, you know, no drugs at work. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we crossed the line, but we, that's how we learn. Uh, but uh, she'll, she'll definitely be on there. But we've got to be funny. So now we've got to be like, kind of like, you know, PG funny. So. Oh, okay, because I was like, because of Carla. I thought, okay, she was saying um, pro kids stuff. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even yeah. see, it, but yeah. yeah. Anything else we learned? Um, not we have to try everything because not everything is gonna work. Mm-hmm. So we have to um, try different different things and see what works, and and I think most like most importantly, see what our audience likes. Mm-hmm. I think we've been learning that mm-hmm. a lot. Or at least I have. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think we did a great job with the last video day, though. I think yeah. everybody came ready, you know, and everybody brought energy there. So I think from our earlier videos to now, we've gotten a lot better. I, c- I could tell you guys that. And then what, and Marisol's point, it's, it's, it's a matter of just volume. You know, I think one, one of the things that people overthink is like, oh, this post, what are people going to think? There's so many posts through one day that it's like, it doesn't even make a, like a difference in anybody's life with, with one post. So the volume is... is, is is the challenge now. 
we had to put out so much more. So if you guys were you know, going to do social media, I think part of the challenge at Blanca you said is that it's so much work because you have to do it all the time. You know, so that's some of the challenges we're, we're facing, but that's why we have a team you know, to help us do that. All right, so yeah, for you guys, I think what would really help is, what would you guys say, like, you know, helping us out on the stories, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be a big one. Because I think um, our audience really likes when, like, it's unexpected, like, when Ana comes out or, like, mm -hmm. or someone else comes out that, that hasn't come out in, in a long time, mm -hmm. and they get excited because they haven't seen them in a while, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, <laughs> I mean, you get comments, too, so mm -hmm. it's, um, it's cool to see that. So I think participating more in stories. Yeah, that would help us out. And I think that's one of our, like, you know, strong suits. Like, we have an advantage. Like, if it's like an insurance agency is only two, three people, then, you know, people will always see the same people and they got, well, may, may, you know, get tired of certain people. But with us, there's so many of us that that's actually one of the advantages we have. So if you guys could participate in different things, um, the more participation, and then also going on your personal stuff and then also promoting the agency too. Those are all type of things that, as a team effort, we could really um, grow our agency's presence online. All right, chapter 21. Um, yeah, create a social media presence. This is uh, something we always talk about. But let's have this discussion again from this chapter and see what you guys learned from. So, yeah, Laura, you're going first now that you're sitting there today. Mine's on uh, page 206. Okay. At the bottom, uh, where it says, it only takes a few bad reviews or complaints about you, your company, or your product to result in lost opportunities and and the damaged perception of you and your brand. And your brand, your customers are online, and it is critical to manage your online reputation in order to protect your brand, as it may be the first impression to the public. The public gets about you. So I like that part. Mm -hmm. So I like it because with our videos and stuff, we put out that like our reputations, like well, like our motto basically is like to be friendly. Um, and no, it's like. We're not going to charge you for our service, like for a quote. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always just like a courtesy quote. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I think that that goes a long way, and then also just allowing them to submit their information. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier on them. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, before it wasn't like that mm -hmm. on social media. Now it's it's kind of like an opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. It goes both ways, right? Yeah. Because if you do a bad job, they could just they could post something and everyone could see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that kind of keeps us like you know in check because like oh crap, it's like so easy for people to say whatever they want to now. You know, in the past they could like only tell like the people they like hang out with. Mm -hmm. Now they could just post it on there, everybody could see. But the flip side of it is also good because what uh, what 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 is something that helps us get sales? Good reviews. Our reviews, you know, our reviews helps us get sales because. You know, people never want to buy something that they don't trust. So if they see reviews, it's going to be like, oh, wow, people like them. And that's going to really help our closing ratio. Um, and when we get good reviews, then when people search for insurance, places like, you know, Google will see that, hey, this place has a lot of reviews. So Google will feel more comfortable recommending us to other places too. So getting reviews is a great thing uh, because, A, it could help us. And then B, since we could get a bad one, we have to stay sharp and not ever like, you know, uh, give them any bad customer service. Yeah. So that's why social media definitely, definitely uh, made a difference as far as like credibility, trustworthiness, because it's all about transparency now with social media. Thank you, Laura. What, what part did you like, uh, Kalia? Um, page 208. Um, okay. Number one. Okay. So it says, treat your social media reputation like your personal reputation. Handle social media attacks the same way you would a personal attack. Handle such attacks. Don't delegate this or take it lightly. Nothing is more important than your name and reputation. Um, well, I just like that one. Just basically, like, when we want to be out there, you know, we have to basically, like it says, you know, teach, treat your social media, you know, like your personal reputation. So you want them to see you, how you want them to see you, like if they, if they were to meet you in real life. Mm -hmm. um, you should put your social media out there like that. Too, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And that's how you get, you know. So basically, you just don't, you shouldn't care for what other people think about you or say about you, you know, and just let them see you how they would meet you in real life. Okay. <laughs> you know? In real life, what type of reputation would you want to have? A good reputation? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not a shady person. Not a shady person. <laughs> okay. Like not right. A shady person. What else? How would you guys like to be known? Genuine. 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 Helpful. Helpful. Yeah. These are all just like, you know. Hmm? <laughs> I was like, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so it was helping you out there. Yeah, no, no, it, 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 it is for... It, it is for everybody. It is for anybody. Yeah, but yeah, that's you know um, how you want to be known. Those are all good human traits. So um, same thing with our you know business accounts too, and you guys' accounts too. Like you always want to be like, hey, uh, how do, how do people you know? You just you know it's kind of like contradictory because you don't want to care too much about what people think about you, you know, where it 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 um kind of like it hurts you from taking action. Because you could be like, oh my god, I wonder what people are going to think about me and not be active on there, which I think a lot of people do because of fear. Oh, if I get a bad comment, you know, that's going to suck. So part of this chapter, what it does is like, it kind of like already puts you in the mindset that that's going to happen. You know, so once you have the realistic expectation that, hey, something bad is going to happen, then you're not going to be as scared of posting as much. So you don't want to care too much, but you also do want to care what people think of you. So uh, your reputation uh, is very important. So it's a very uh, fine balance of not caring too much, but also not really not caring, and then like making yourself look, you know, not the way you want to. But I, I think uh, what's important is as long as you have the good intent, it's going to come across online too. So I, I like your point, Kaldia. Is like you know you got to make sure you're a good person truly within, and that's what helps that uh, bring it out on social media too. Because our reputation is important. All right, Sylvia, what do you have for us? Oh, gosh, darn it. Um... Well, there were so many good things in this chapter. Um, I think one thing that really stood out in this, um, I know it's about social media, but I really like how he broke down the Ten Commandments of Sales. Okay. And it's on page 213. And mm-hmm. I like number four, be sold on your offer. This is the most important of all sales. If you can make this sale, you will make many of the ones that you pay, that pay you. I know salespeople who sell products they don't even own. How can you, how can you do this and expect to sell your products? Each week, I write a list of the reasons people should own my products and why they are worth the investment. Um, so like I said, there was a lot of good key points in this chapter, but I just like how he really broke that down. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also like how he did um, the 250,000 sales sell success schedule, mm-hmm. uh, page 210. I liked how he, you know, details, you know, every hour what he did and what it takes to be a top producer. Mm-hmm. Um, that really stood out to me too because it really does come down to, to the wire, you know, like like 6 a.m. to this time I'm going to do this and then this time I'm going to do this and making sure that you finish it within that time bracket mm-hmm. so that you achieve your goals. Right. Um, yeah, so I, I really like this chapter, but these are the parts that really stood out to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if he put these in the wrong area. <laughs> You know, because it, yeah, the, the title of the social yeah. media. But these two, these these um, sections were really important. There's a lot of good information in there. I agree yeah. with you. Be sold in your offer. I think that's a good one. You know, it really, it really helps. It's actually a necessity. You know, to be able to sell something, you got to believe in it. Yeah. You know, because it's like a transfer of feelings. You know, so so that's why people who sell shady stuff they can't do it long term because it just the guilt kind of like overtakes them. Right. You know, so short term they could do it for financial gains, but they can't do it long term because like I, I know this isn't good for them. Yeah. But we're selling something that you know they need anyways, so we we could really do it with enthusiasm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the schedule, you know, that's a good one too. Yeah, just like I said, it's going mm-hmm. back down to the wire. You know, like mm-hmm. you just finishing what you need to finish at that time, and mm-hmm. maybe just staying true to yourself and staying honest and really staying to that. Anything that you uh, saw from this schedule that made you um, kind of um, rethink yours, or? Um, yeah, um, getting up a little earlier. Okay. So I usually wake up like at seven, seven thirty, and maybe waking up maybe like at five a.m. Just oh damn. Getting up earlier and mm-hmm. preparing for the day as opposed to having less time to get ready. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing that really stood out to me was the way that the massive outflow, his schedule of how to send out the mailers and what to do. You know, like how many how many it takes to get to a certain number. I like that too because I don't I don't do that. I don't like like say, oh, I'm gonna reach out to so and so today. Like mm-hmm. This many people, and it really does come down to that. Mm-hmm. You gotta make sure how many people you're reaching out to. 
to see the outcome. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. How they say, how, how many no's before you get a yes? How many is it? Ten? Or? Depending on the product, okay. you know. But for us, um, for us, if you sell, if you do ten quotes, if you can sell three, then you're good. Ten out of three? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. okay, three to four. Okay, two and a half is like the average. Okay. Or our, our agency's um, closing ratio is like 25%. Okay. okay, but if you're selling like two out of 10, you're not that great. And if you're selling one out of 10, then, you know, <laughs> then you're really not good. So, um, but regardless, you got to get through some of those, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think the massive outflow for us is like, what, what would you say, Laura? Massive outflow. That kind of pertains to something that I, another part that I really like where it says like build a positive like public relations, mm -hmm. like be proactive like on social media, because um, farmers already sends out postcards. Mm -hmm. You know those are automatically out like right. for birthdays and stuff. So I think just being like proactive with like our public relations, mm -hmm. so that we can be seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what our social media team does a really good job of. That's really what we're doing, you know. But um, yeah, massive outflow for us it could be like. Um, Follow-ups. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mass emails. Yeah, mass emails. Because, you know, the mailing is not really... It's, this, it, it's crazy, like, this book is only, like, a few years old, but it could already be a little bit outdated in a little while because it's, like, Google Plus in one of the places. It's, like, you know, it's probably Instagram now. So, um, yeah. So, but massive work, massive um, action is something that uh, this chap this book always goes over. So another good reminder of that. All right, cool. What did you like about this chapter, um, Maria? Mine was the same as Laura's. It only takes a few bad reviews. Yeah. So um, one thing that we have to keep in mind that is that on every single email we send out, what's on there? Uh, yeah, for the Yelp review. Yeah, just it's links, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really that easy for people to be like, okay, I got an email from this person. <laughs> Let me go there. Okay. And uh, I just forgot if we talked about it in this group or not. But the opposite is, yeah, I just did, right? Getting good reviews helps us get get <laughs> get found too. So. Yeah, I think social media is a way that um, it helps because, you know, if, if you did whatever you want to do and nobody really knew what you're doing, then you could, people may live a little bit more of a, people may tr not turn evil, but if you, whatever you did wasn't going to be like found, people could turn out to be a little bit more, um, they wouldn't care about their reputation as much because no one will find out. Nowadays, whatever you do, everybody will know, right? So actually, some people say, hey, social media is turning a lot of people into bad things, but if you really look at it in a positive way, which I like to do, social media could turn into a better person because now you're like, oh, shoot, everybody's watching me. You know, like, someone could be recording me right now, not knowing, like, walking on the street, someone could be recording me. So now it actually makes people turn into better people because they don't want to be exposed as a bad person, right? So just, no, just kind of keep that in mind that, hey, just pretend that you're being videotaped all the time. You're going to act like a better person. Mm, just checking yourself all the time. <laughs> yeah, because, you, you know, it, it helps you audit, you know, your, your, your reactions. So sometimes I like, to live, I like to start thinking like, hey, like everything I do is going to be on the record, and then you're actually going to uh, your, your actions are going to change. All right, so, yeah, so think of, think of it that way, okay? And, and it is true. Because of reviews, our actions are going to be very transparent now. All right, Kathy, what would you like about this chapter? Mm, I like on page uh, 207, it's the, the second paragraph, mm -hmm. the, the middle one. It says, uh, no matter who you are or what your business is, when you start getting attention and creating any success at all, it is only a matter of time before someone will post something negative about you online. This is an 
an impossible avoidance. The only way not to get attention is to hide under a rock, and even then you will be discovered. Um, I kind of liked it because, um, I mean, it is true, like, no matter what, you're going to get discovered even if you don't try at all. It kind of reminded me, like, us, we have a lot of reviews, but even if we were, if we were to have zero re reviews, people will still come across us, but we won't be moving. Like, we'll just be there, but we won't be winning or losing. We'll just simply be there, so might as well try and, you know, get somewhere, even just a little bit, to, like, not be nothing at all. Mm -hmm. So it kind of reminded me of that, because, yeah, we've been talking about, like, oh, a bunch of uh, reviews, but mm -hmm. even if we had nothing, we'd still kind of be not winning and losing. Mm -hmm. Most likely losing, you know, we'll be with like everybody else, right? You know, because we're still gonna be um, come across at one point, mm -hmm. and that's just like everybody. So I, I really like that paragraph. Yeah, I like it too. I think it's really good. This paragraph it helps that it's only a matter of time someone will post something negative about you, you know. So again, I talked about that, right? So if you have that expectation, then you're not gonna be less scared to put yourself out there. I think sometimes the reason people don't want to post themselves or put, them, put their lives into public is the fear of judgment, right? But if you already know that, hey, some, I'm going to get some negatives already, when it happens, you're not, you're not going to stop doing what you're doing because part of it is to being consistent. And also, when it happens, you're just not going to be so, like, hurt about it because you already know it's going to happen. But one thing that um, people, the, one of the reasons people aren't taking advantage of it as much is because probably that fear, you know? And if you go the other way where you're like, I don't want to be found. I want to be very private. I don't want nobody to know about me. Okay, that's a personal choice. But when it comes to business, that's a very bad, <laughs> that's a very bad formula. I don't want nobody to know about me. Well, if nobody knows about you, you, know, you can, like we talked about in the last group, but you can have the best pizza place in the whole world, the best pizza in the whole world. But if nobody knows about you, then, you know, you're not going to get any sales. You could have literally really bad pizza, but be known all over the place, and you're going to get a lot of sales. Okay. <laughs> Is it that bad? Is it that bad? Yeah, because like, it's known. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like people that... Um, it's known. Yeah, everybody... Oh, like, this is snowed. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like this makes sense. It's known, but... It's kind yeah. of like people that never want to um, reveal their secrets. Mm -hmm. They just want to be like, you know, the best, but it's kind of like you're not winning because you, if anything, it helps better when you're helping others, mm -hmm. you know, like um, not being kind of like, you keep it to uh, yourself, so mm -hmm. you end up like losing, you're trying to be like the best and keeping your secret, but by exposing it and helping other people, you end up getting like more information and actually mm -hmm. being better. Yeah. So, yeah, it is true. So. Yeah, I, I think so too. You, you, you really, um... You can't really help anybody if you're just not known, you know? Um, but um, getting, not only them knowing what you do is important too, but I think another reason social media is important is that to remind them. Because, hey, they could know you, but what good is it if they forget about you? So that's where consistency comes into play. It's always staying consistent. I think that pertains more for like Facebook, you know how we get a lot of bad comments? Mm -hmm. Like, we get a lot of negative comments, like, on our videos and stuff. Like, oh, no, they're too expensive. Oh, no, they're lying or whatever. But I feel like when people see a lot of people commenting or liking or even putting whatever they put, I think it gives us a higher, like, viewing group. Mm -hmm. So it helps us more. Mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah. Um, it's... Um, like, with Yelp, it's different. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Yelp, I think it's more positive mm -hmm. feedback, whereas... Facebook, like, even though, like, um, people put negative comments, we still mm -hmm. get a lot of people requesting mm -hmm. quotes. Yeah. Sometimes when, um, it's, it's actually just, just getting known, attention. Yeah. It's so important, you know? And that's why sometimes people could be, like, you know, so, some celebrities could have the worst haters, or, right? Or some polit politician could have the really bad haters. But that's actually bringing more attention to them. So actually, sometimes your haters are actually helping you by get, get, getting more attention. Mm -hmm. And Facebook could be like, oh, this person, this is getting a lot of comments. What's going on here? Let's show it to more people because they want engagement. They don't want to go to Facebook and be like, oh, this is boring. Let me get out of here. So, but, you know, in general, we, you don't want them to be, like, really mad. Like, the comments be, like, all bad because then they're like, oh, this, this makes them feel in a negative way. They don't want to show it. But getting that exposure is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So sometimes when you get a bad comment, you're like, you're actually, in a way, you could be like, well, this, thank you. 
you know. But like the way that like this thing for the commercial, right? Like the way that she like it. We don't rip. We could either go one way or another. Mm -hmm. Like I'm pretty sure it was somebody that's like doesn't know how to take criticism mm -hmm. or doesn't like to hear bad comments mm -hmm. is going to reply with a negative comment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But with us, like we kind of turn it into a positive. Like, oh, I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Like, but if you want to call us, you know, we're not saying you're mm -hmm. sexy. So I feel like when we have those bad comments, we can turn them into positives and people see it mm -hmm. and they're like, okay, well, it doesn't hurt to request a quote. Yeah. So I feel like even like a bad comment can turn into a positive. And then sometimes when we do reply back to like the bad comments and we reply to it like in a positive way, they end up requesting a quote from yeah. us because mm -hmm. we're a different agency than they thought. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like it can turn into like a positive. Yeah. yeah. So you're, you, you can see the comments. Yeah, on. I see them. Mm -hmm. Cause I get notifications. Mm -hmm. How's the rest of them? <laughs> no, I just think it's funny when like, they comment like on pictures like, oh, Kaya's bien sexy, like, <laughs> like stuff like that. I think it's funny because I'm like, oh my god, like, uh -huh. and we they even have. They love Kaya, huh? I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> you probably noticed, but the people that comment on our stuff, on the top it says top <laughs> fan or uh -huh. top fan. Yeah. So that means that that person like comments all the yeah. time. So I think it's they funny. They have their post notifications on, like, oh, they comment. <laughs> yeah, like. I wonder if they do. So it's funny. Yeah. So, yeah. No, yeah, you can have that. It has like top for, fans. For a page, you just can request like every time we post something for it to show or let them know right away. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. people have no, that. but like if you comment a lot, like let's say you come in on like a specific like celebrity all the time, you eventually be noted as like a top fan. So whenever um yeah, they Facebook post does that. Yeah, though, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, cause Facebook, you don't do it, but like eventually, if you comment so much, later on it says, oh, you you were qualified as a top fan for this page. Do you want to accept notification? Oh yeah. And then if you press yes, then you get like a rated star in that page, and then it pops up. Oh, that's so you cool. have to agree to it. So probably that yeah. person had to agree to it. Like okay. Yeah, because oh, I've seen cool. several that say top yeah. fan, so I yeah. think it's funny. I, yeah. I, I get that when I post a lot of memes mm -hmm. on a page, and they're like, oh, you were a top fan, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> So I have it. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> 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 yeah. I don't know you were a top fan of pages. <laughs> well, yeah, let's... Um, but, yeah, I think uh, all, all these things, so, so even the bad reviews, especially top fans, I mean, it, I, I, I look at it as a perspective of gratitude, you know, like, hey, like, we're getting some type of attention. That's, that's very important. You know, it's so precious to get attention these days because there's just so much more content mm -hmm. out there. We were just talking about the last group that hey, the good thing is that now we can make videos and commercials and we could post ourselves. Like, no, 10 years ago, you couldn't do that. You need, need to hire a production company. The cameras were, like, super expensive. Mm -hmm. And then like, billboards and TV commercials were so expensive. Now we, we could do that, you know? The only, the only challenge now is that now that everybody could do it, now the challenge is who's, whose content is better because so many can do it. And then because so many people could do it, the second challenge is that who's doing more? Okay. Out. Yeah, mm -hmm. by doing more too, you know, by being more active. So those are some challenges that we're facing. But um, yeah, as, as long as we know what we're doing and the capabilities are so endless, uh, I'm really excited that at least compared to us, at least insurance agencies or uh, different um, companies, I, I, we're a little bit ahead of the curve right now. So yeah, we're gonna take uh, keep leveraging in, in onto it and growing our business that way. It's gonna be very long term. Consistency is important, but by producing volume, that's the way we get better too. All right, you tell me, what did you like about this chapter? I like this input as a double random essay, and mm -hmm. especially like about the first impression. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like you say like they already have a first impression before we actually talk into them. Mm -hmm. Because I think they read like reviews and all that stuff, and sometimes they sound like they already know us. Mm -hmm. So I think like it's really important that like you kind of you know be nice to the clients all the time because mm -hmm. you know this can talk about us like anywhere. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so true. You know, you, you think, I think we're doing a great job of marketing when they already call us, they're already like thinking like, I wonder if you guys get this, but they're like already thinking like, I'm going get, to get, go with them. You know, they're already like more, like they're already like 50% sold on us before you even getting the price. Yeah. Right? You can just kind of tell that they're very serious about getting the quote. If you weren't transparent, if they didn't know what we looked like, if they didn't know where we worked, if they didn't know you know, our names, you wouldn't get quotes like that. Yeah. Because we did half the battle, and half the battle of, like, of getting a sale is like, do they trust us or not, you know? So if they just saw our number, or even worse, we call them, they're gonna be like, who are you? You know, like, how can I trust you? 
So that's where social media really helps us, is just being transparent, making them feel like they know us without us going to them. Um, is really, really a strong point. So it's not cold calling. It's not cold calling. Before. And they know they, and then they know us. We put our license numbers on there. So we did a really good job on the last uh, last um, video. I think we did a really good job on that. Everyone brought the energy. So um, that's that's really um, helpful for us. I think you guys also have some um, things that to share about what what could help us moving forward too. Mm -hmm. Stories. Yeah, because the, the, the challenge is, is volume, right? Yeah. Okay. And I think um, one of the, the strong suit about our agency is that there are multiple people here. So it, I think it does help when more people are on the stories and participating too. So by participating as a group thing, I think it's just going to keep, you know, uh, volume and content. Uh, volume of content and the quality of content is going to get better as we try different things. All right. Anything else you guys want to add? Yeah, okay. So uh, we're going to have video days more often than not now. Okay, more new content, uh, more different types. We're going to try different targeting. We're, do, we're doing English ones. We're doing different lines of pro products too. So uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys' participation, okay, because we're not slowing down on this. We're, we're going to be going faster now. All right. All right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.